sewn to spare them. Cameras rolling. Axion! If you've been watching my YouTube videos for a while, then you may have noticed a couple things about me, apart from the fact that I'm a huge weirdo. First, that I'm capable of making some pretty elaborate and effective little movies with basically no resources, and second, that I'm oddly good at mimicking the dialect and the accent of a 17th century New England Puritan. Well, this spring I'm going to be bringing both of those skills to bear to produce a 90-minute feature-length film called The Sudbury Devil, set in Massachusetts in 1678. It's about a pair of witchfinders who are dispatched to the frontier town of Sudbury to investigate rumors of devil worship. Their search leads them away from the safety of the settlement and into an untamed labyrinth of a wilderness. There, a bizarre and terrifying source of satanic magic will irrevocably transform these men of God and force them to confront their own grievous sins. So it's a romp, fun for the whole family. But if it ain't done right, then it ain't worth doing. So I am once again asking for your financial support. This month, March 2020, I'm attempting to raise $6,000 to make this movie, which will shoot in the woods of western Massachusetts during the second and third week of May. And there's Maureen over where the fire pit would be. Click the link below to visit our Indiegogo page and see what kind of rewards we're offering. You can join an email list where you'll get regular updates from me about uh, the production, how it's going, and also fascinating little tidbits about the history that inspired the story. You can get access to an exclusive behind-the-scenes documentary. You can be part of our focus group, which means that you'll get a digital copy of a near-complete version of the film and have the opportunity to give me your feedback. And if we agree with your constructive criticism, then your suggestions may very well make it into the final cut of the movie. While I can't promise you a masterpiece, I'm very confident that I can deliver an entertaining, watchable, and competent low-budget movie. This will not be a middling effort from amateur filmmakers. The cast and crew is already assembled. They're coming in from all around the country. Most of them I've worked with before on other movies, and they are some of the best actors and technicians I have ever had the pleasure to collaborate with. Foremost among them is Eduardo Uruena, my co-director and cinematographer. Eduardo and I have been making movies together for 10 years, including our first feature film, Alien Baby. I practiced medicine in Germany for many years until I took a government job in 1933. Then in 1945, I moved to Argentina with a bunch of my friends. Beautiful there. And then more recently, the incredibly weird horror movie, In the Wildwood. So we've made some pretty crazy movies, but obviously a period piece is a whole different animal. While I don't think that a historical movie has to be accurate to be good, you better believe that mine is going to be as painstakingly authentic as I can possibly make it for $6,000. For example, the actors in this movie will be speaking entirely in OP, or Original Early Modern English Pronunciation. It's an accent devised by the linguist David Crystal, the purpose of which was to decipher hidden rhymes and meanings in Shakespeare plays in the King James Bible. It's about as accurate an accent as we can get to that which was spoken in Southeast England in the 17th century. Many of you know it as the Witchfinder General accent, but that's a bit of a comical over-exaggeration. Spoken more naturally, OP sounds like two households, both alike in dignity, and fair for honor every lay our sin, from ancient grudge break to new mutiny, where civil blood makes civil lands unclean. From forth the fatal lines of these two foes, a pair of star-crossed lovers take their life, whose misadventured piteous o'erthrows doth with their death bury their parents' strife. Pretty cool, right? And as far as I know, The Sudbury Devil will be the first feature film spoken in original pronunciation ever made. But there's much more to historical authenticity than just getting the accent right. All of the details of our props and costumes are being very carefully considered. Currently, about half of our allocated budget, in fact, a little bit more than half, is reserved for costume expenses. 
Costumes are gonna be very elaborate, made from period fabrics, as accurate as we possibly can make them. We have triple-checked the script for anachronistic words and phrases. We even researched Puritan hygiene to ensure that our characters wouldn't be either too dirty or too clean. But don't take my word for it. I actually sent the script to a buddy of mine who literally makes a living tearing apart movies for historical inaccuracy. Brandon? Now, when Mr. Attenshay first approached me with this concept for the film, uh, I, was, I was intrigued, but very, very cautiously so. Uh, this idea, obviously, of making a movie about, you know, witchcraft and devilry and, and supernatural yada 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 in a uh, 17th century Massachusetts colony uh, with, you know, witch finders and all that sort of stuff. It, Look, we all, we've all seen that idea. We've all seen that film, and it's pretty much always been trash. Let's be honest about that. But I have a feeling uh, that, obviously I wouldn't be here if I didn't, uh, I have a feeling that this film will be different from all of that. The first thing that really struck me about Mr. Attenshay's proposal was the fact that he is going to be using period-appropriate language, period-appropriate terminology, and he even went so far to make sure that the appropriate pronunciation is used. So that was how he got me interested in this project. And then he kept on explaining to me about how he is going to attempt here to really capture, in a way, the social element of this time period. Now, yes, obviously, it's a horror film, and as such, there are elements of the film which are not in any way going to be uh, realistic or, or historical, in that, you know, devils and demons and witches, maybe hot take here, uh, don't really exist, and that the events being portrayed did not really literally happen. In this historical fiction film, the attempt will be made to explore very real historical elements. And that, I've always said, is the most important thing when making a historical film. Things like material culture are important, yes. Things like, shall we say, uh, exact facts and figures uh, and, and, and whatnot, those very hard, you know, history facts, they are very important, yes. But they always take a secondary seat, a back seat to overall historical authenticity is a story respecting the history on its own terms. Not by modern standards, not by modern understandings, not by modern stereotypes and prejudices, not inserting modern political ideals or, or anything else of the sort, but is it taking and understanding the past on its own terms? And it, it seems to me like this project has a very, very good shot at doing exactly that. And of course, that is very relevant when we're talking about a film which is going to be made for roughly around $6,000. Uh, obviously, there will be material constraints, there will be time constraints, and this will limit exactly how uh, accurate, so to say, a film can be. However, something that is never limited by resources or time or anything like that, money, uh, something that is not limited is authenticity. And I do have a feeling that Mr. Attenshe, with his knowledge of the time period, and with the fact that he is hiring, you know, period-appropriate tailors to make period-appropriate clothing, and all these other factors, I actually believe that he is going to be able to do very well in both of these respects. But overall, I do believe that is enough of my own endorsement. Uh, I'll send you running back now to the other fellow. Uh, until the next time, I am and I shall remain your most humble and obedient of servants. Thank you very much. So my friends, I hope you'll join me in this weird, satanic journey into the 17th century. Rest assured, I'll still be making videos for this channel, that's not gonna stop, and I will try to keep the shameless self-promotion to an absolute minimum. You may not hear from me that much during the month of May, though, because, uh, well, if all goes well, I'll be making a movie.